Polk County brand new video shows a driver panicking after deputies say he hit an 11 year old boy while he was on his way to school. He's now recovering in the hospital tonight. The father of the boy is only speaking with our Angelina Salcedo. He opens up about the moment he rushed to find his son on the side of the road. I actually seen Zion leave the house this morning on our ring camera. What was it? Something told me to tell him not to go because we, I had just received a, a call from the school uh, saying that the bus was running late. But he never got to call. His 11 year old was already well on his way to the bus stop. Minutes later, my wife called me uh, very hysterical, telling me I need to get to the hospital. Jarvis Alston's son had just been hit by a car. But when I got here, this is the location where Zion was pretty much uh, laying at with the uh, the EMT and uh, fire uh, staff. Zion was airlifted to Orlando Health Arnold Palmer Hospital for children. What's up, Zion? What's up? How you feeling? Good. You all right? Yes, sir. He has a broken leg and injuries to his face and stomach. The only thing I can do is just, you know, cry. You know, cry because... I couldn't do anything for him. It was out of my control. Polk County deputies say 66 year old Pierre Carmelo Jacinth was arrested and charged with leaving the scene of a crash with injuries and tampering with evidence after he hit his car in the garage. Deputies say he told detectives he hit a kid by accident and panicked. Surveillance cameras caught him rushing to leave. I forgive him, but I want to know why. It could have been an accident. Accidents happen didn't even, you know, care to know if my kid was dead or alive. In an area where Jarvis says drivers speed through, he's asking his neighbors to look out for one another. It's my kid today. It can be somebody else's kid in the morning. In Poinciana, Angelina Salcedo, 10 Tampa Bay.